Hi guys. Jackie's doodling in class again. I'm stick one. And I'm stick two. Oh, look. She took notes. Yeah, apparently I'm John Cabot. I think that he was assigned to her for her explorer project in honors marine biology. That's right. Hey, what's she writing now? Giovanni Caboto? Who's that? Idiot. That's John Cabot's Italian name. Oh. That makes sense. She wrote more. Let's read it out since we have nothing to do anyway. That's stupid. But okay. Let's see. He was born in Genoa, Italy sometime in 1450 and died in 1499. Guillo Caboto was his father. He was a merchant. John Cabot married Masha and had three sons. Ludovico, Sebastiano, and Sancto. I'm bored stick too. Oh geez. Just keep reading. Fine. John Cabot sailed for England, and embarked on his expedition to find a new route to Asia. Instead, he landed in Bonaventure, Newfoundland in Canada. Wait a second, Cabot was an Italian explorer who was born in Italy and sailed for another country to find a new route to Asia. Only to find a new world? Who does that sound like? Christopher Columbus. That's right. How did you figure that out? Jackie wrote it just now. Of course. I thought you had a brain for a second. We are stick figures. Why would we have brains? Oh yeah. Anyway, Cabot's journey began in Bristol, England. On May 2, 1497, he sailed from England through the northern regions of the Atlantic Ocean and landed on the northeast coast of Canada in Bonaventure, Newfoundland, where he established England's first overseas colony. It was a fishing settlement. Cabot went back to Bristol after about a week. He was rewarded with money from the king for finding the New Isle. Who was the king who granted Cabot the patent? King Henry VII. The king granted Cabot another patent a year later in 1498. This time, he sailed past Newfoundland and landed on another island in which he named Labrador's Land. He sailed back to England after sailing south along the New World's coast. The ship Cabot used to travel to the New World was called the Matthew. It was an avicula, or a caravel. It was generally a small, fast-moving ship. The technology he used on his expedition included almanacs, astrolabs, compasses, and charts. They helped him with navigation. Several of these items used the distance between an object in the sky, such as the stars or the sun, and the horizon to determine the location of the ship. Areas John Cabot explored include Newfoundland, Labrador's Island, and Cape Breton Island. His explorarian helped spark several of the following expeditions made by other explorers, including his own son, Sebastian Cabot. So wait. Knowing all of this, what does this have to do with oceanography? His exploration provided the geographic information in the Wilsia Muller map. It was a map of the Pacific Ocean. I see. So, I guess all that pretty much sums up all of her notes. That was fun. Are you kidding? It was not fun. That's not the point. If anyone was listening just now, they may have learned a lot about John Cabot. And who'd be listening to this? Oh, cut it out.